Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make all of these modded outfits in GTA 5 online. So I hope you like these and feel free to let me know down below which outfit is your favourite in today's video. Also with this method you can make more than just 4 modded outfits, uh, you can add more but I'll show you that later in the video. Anyway if you find this helpful a like would be hugely appreciated so feel free to leave one, also feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. That's all up to you though, before we get into it shout out to all of these people on screen for commenting hashtag TJRH on my last video and without further ado let's get straight into the video. So to begin with this, all you want to do is first of all come to any clothing store on the map, so it doesn't matter which one, just come to one. And then you want to make sure you put all your money in your bank, so if you have any cash, just put it into your bank so it transfers over to the other character. By the way, this is the amount it should cost, so it should be around this much. Just put that into your bank. And from here you want to go to your outfits, saved, and then equip the outfit you would like to keep, as by doing a glitch it will delete all your saved outfits, but only your saved ones. Um, but you can keep one, which is the one you equip. So I equip this one here. Once you've done so, you can open up your pause menu. You want to go to online and then go into swap character. In this menu here, you just want to make sure your main character is on the left slot. Uh, it'll only work if your main character is a male and on the left slot. And from here, on the right slot, you want to make a new female character. If you get this alert here, just accept the alert. And then in the editing menu, just set it to a female and then press save and continue. Name your character anything and then take a photo, you should load into an online session. Now I quickly do want to mention if you guys would like any of your own modded accounts that come with plenty of modded outfits on them and money and RP, be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. These modded accounts come with cash ranging from 50 million all the way to 1 billion and almost all of the modded accounts now are 100% cash so no need for extra cars and deluxos. They also offer account boosts which are great because you can get an already existing account boosted with tons of money and RP. These guys have over 4,500 reviews on their official Trustpilot page and are by far the most highly reputable modders. There will be a link in the description and the pinned comment to this website uh, and also don't forget you can use my code TJRH for 5% off your order for a limited time only. When you load in you want to check to see if you have any clothing stores on the map so open up your map and see if the clothing store icons appear. So just like this, uh, if they do appear go to a clothing store however if they don't appear just find a new session, uh, just find a new invite only session, it'll be easier, or just any new session. And once you load in you should have the clothing store icons, so head over to any clothing store. Go inside and then you want to go to the accessories menu at the back right of the store. So onto accessories at the back right over here, and you want to take off any accessories that come with your outfit, so most standard outfits come with earrings on them, so you want to take those off if you have them, or if you have any leather straps or any watches take them off. So remove all accessories. From here I'll be back once I've made the outfits and then I'll go over them from there. Just so I don't take too long making them but I'll still go in depth and show you everything you need to equip. So the first outfit is going to be the blue CEO vest outfit with the camo blue and it consists of two different outfits on the female. For the first one you want to head over to accessories and then on, on accessories go on to earrings and equip the B&W deco earrings. So at least here. And then from here you want to go onto the top section, so just behind you, onto tops, and you want to head down to biker cuts. So onto biker cuts and go for the aqua camo denim cut. So this here is an aqua camo denim cut, then head down to bikinis, and you want to equip the black bikini. So it is underneath the armour, um, and once you have that you want to go to shoes, and then head down to motorcycle boots. You want to go for the worn black slack boots. And after you have those, head over to the pants section. So over here, and on pants you want to go onto leggings. So down to leggings, and then you want to equip the Aqua Tiger Stripe leggings. So those there. Once you have those, uh, what you need to do is very important, you need to equip the heavy armour. So go into your inventory body armour, show the heavy armour. And then from here you want to save this to slot number 2, so start off in slot number 2. And name it the same as I do, so blue vest 1. And then for the second outfit we want to keep everything the same. However, we want to head over to pants and change them. So go on to sports pants and then equip the spotted muscle pants. And that's it, that's all you need to do. From here you can go save this. Actually it's very important you need to equip the heavy armour again. So go to inventory, body armour, show the heavy armour. This is so you can get the CEO vest on the outfit. And from here save this to slot number 3 and name it blue vest 2. 
so you should have both of them made now. Now we'll move on to the Juggernaut outfit. This consists of three different outfits on the female. For the first one you want to head over to accessories. So onto this menu at the back here. And you need to remove your earrings, then go down to gloves and equip the light woodland armoured. So make sure you remove the BMW Deco earrings. And then from here go onto boots and equip the red cowboy boots. And by the way keep the pants the same so keep the spotted muscle pants on. And then go to leather jackets. Then equip the blue JC jacket. So this one here the blue JC jacket. And once you do so go down to bikinis then equip the black floral bikini. So this one here, and from here you can go ahead and save this. And you want to save this in slot number 4, and name it Jug1. Then once you've done that, uh, for the second outfit we want to keep everything the same, but we're going to change the tops. So head on to tops and head down to tucked t-shirts. Now on tucked t-shirts, equip the white rolled tee. Then after you have that, you want to head up to biker cuts and go for the patched darted vest. So this here, the patched darted vest. And then just go ahead and save this. So save this to slot number 5 and name it Jug 2. So make sure you do that and then for the Jug 3 outfit, we're going to change the tops again. So head down to gun running t-shirts. Now equip the grey woodland rolled tee. So the grey woodland roll tee, then go up to tactical jackets and equip the last one. So on tactical jackets, equip number 79, uh, this last one here, the khaki tactical blouse on. And then after you have that, you can go ahead and save this. And then you just want to save this to slot number 6 and name it Jug 3. Then that is all the outfits done for the Juggernaut one. Uh, so now we're going to move on to the Galaxy outfit. Uh, you want to keep the gloves and the pants the same. But what you want to do is go over to shoes and change those. So onto shoes, go on the high heel boots. Then we're going to equip the deluxe midnight combat boots. So these are number 24. Then we're going to go onto tops and you want to head down to the leather bomber jackets. Then just equip the multicolor SN leather closed. So the multicolor SN leather closed. And then go ahead and save this. You want to save this one in slot number 7 and name it the same as I do, so Galaxy 1. So make sure you save all these outfits and name them the same as I do and save them in the same order as I do. But from here for the second Galaxy outfit, go on to tops then head down to work jackets. So on to work jackets, go for the peach camo closed field. This one here. Then head down to the tucked t-shirts. And you want to go for number 75, the blue digital t-shirt. This one here. And once you have that, you can go ahead and save this to slot number 8. And name it Galaxy 2. So there you go, that's both the Galaxy outfits done for the female. So uh, now we're moving on to the checkerboard outfit you've seen in the thumbnail. Now this also consists of two different outfits on the female. Um, but I do just want to mention that for some reason these are blacklisted like the checkerboard outfits. So they only work and stay appeared in jobs. So I forgot about that when recording this. Um, but you can equip it, but it just goes after like... 10-20 seconds. Unless you're in a job then it stays forever. But if you still want to make it then follow what I do. So equip the charcoal platforms then go on jeans and equip the black cropped. However if you want to replace this for a different outfit feel free. So what you can do is go and watch one of my other modded outfit videos and you can copy an outfit from in there uh, and how to make it and use that instead of this checkerboard one. Or you can even make up to 8 outfits if you wanted to. But anyway for this outfit equip the camo bust here and then you can go ahead and save this to slot number 9 and name it checkered one. But I hope I explained that properly, so if you want to just go to one of my other multiple modded outfit videos, you can just copy one of those outfits. Um, you know, they consist of two usually on the female. Just copy those instead. Um, but yeah, for the second checkerboard outfit, you want to go to pants. Go on sports pants, equip the spotted muscle pants. And keep the gloves and shoes the same. Then head over to tops and go down to the work jackets. Then equip the peach camo closed field. Then go down to tucked t-shirts. And go for number 75, the blue digital t-shirt. This one here. And also if you want a checkerboard hat and glasses, uh, what you can do is go on glasses, go on casual glasses and equip the copper marbles. Then head over to hats. 
Now I've gone to canvas hats and equip the grey plaid canvas hat. So this one here. And then you want to go ahead and save this at the front desk. So save this one in slot number 10 and name it checkered 2. So make sure you save it to slot 10. Anyway, that's all the have is done for the female, so I'll go over them slowly, just so you guys can make sure you got them the exact same. So as you can tell, obviously I've made four different outfits in this video. Um, obviously they consist of like two or three different outfits on a female, um, but you guys can probably make up to at least like eight other outfits at once by doing this. So if you want to, go and watch my other modded outfit videos, you can add those outfits to this. Anyway, once you have all your outfits saved, what you want to do is just take the easy way out. Now when you load back in, you spawn in, you want to open up your pause menu, go to online and then start a creator. Now in the creator menu you want to hit create a race and then create a new land race. Then once you've done that, go into your race details. Uh, the title, description and photo don't matter, so they can be anything. But you want to set the max players to 3 and then set the route type to point to point. And if you want you can choose a supercar, up to you what car you use, uh, it doesn't really matter. But from here you want to open up your map and teleport to the airport. Over here go on placement and then place the trigger anywhere, take a photo of anything for the lobby camera and then start placing the checkpoints. So uh, what you want to do is you want to place checkpoints until the race length is at least I think 0.62 miles long. So just until that red warning icon disappears. So there you go, it disappears, now you can test the race. Once you get that alert, just accept the alert, and then you want to open up your pause menu, and head over to online, and then go on to choose character. In this menu here, you, would ju you just want to delete your female character on the right. So be careful, make sure it is a female you're deleting, and type delete to confirm, or just confirm it if you're on console. Now from here, if you are on a next gen console, what you need to do is join someone in a different targeting mode, and it should take you to story mode. However, if you're on PC or old gen consoles, uh, literally just back out into story mode, so press B or circle to go into story mode. And then from here, just start up a new online invite only session. When you load into online, you'll notice you have the outfit you chose to keep at the beginning. So go ahead and go in the clothing store. And then you want to save this outfit at the bottom, so to slot number 20. And name it whatever you want to. Now you should also notice all the outfits from the female have transferred over, so you should see them all there. Uh, now to get them, I'll show you how to get them, it's not as simple as equipping them. Uh, but first of all, for the first outfit, you want to register as a CEO, and then go to the clothing store I showed you on the map. Also, before we carry on with the glitch, I do just want to let you know, you will need to bookmark a certain mission called It's a G Thing, so you'll need to bookmark this on Rockstar Social Club. Um, so I'll leave a link to this in the description for you to bookmark. So just bookmark that, and then restart your game. All the outfits will still be there, don't worry. Anyway, at this clothing store, open up your interaction menu, go to your map flip options, and then go to jobs and set your stunt races to custom, so show them, or set them to show. Um, and then from here, go to your CEO style, switch over to the El Jefe outfit, so the one with the CEO vest, uh, and then press the ID pad on this circle. And in this menu, hit confirm settings and then press play. Now in this first menu hit confirm and continue, and in the second menu wait a little bit and then quit the job. Now 
Now when you spawn back in, go into the clothing store and then go to any menu, so press right D-pad to get on any menu. Wait a little bit until you get kicked off of the menu. And now just retire from your CEO and you should notice you keep the outfit on. Uh, so from here you can go to accessories and add a black desert scarf if you want to merge that onto the blue outfit too. You'll have to equip it using your interaction menu though, the black desert scarf. Anyway, from here we want to start up the mission we just bookmarked, so go to your play jobs, bookmarked, go on missions and start up, it's a G thing. In this menu here you want to set the clothing to player saved outfits, set the difficulty to easy and then invite anyone and start this up. Now in this menu here scroll 2 to the right and then ready up. And then in the mission you want to go to one of your apartments, uh, so you'll need to know where they are as they don't show up on the minimap. In your apartment just go up to the wardrobe and then you want to go ahead and save this. Uh, so save it at the bottom to slot number 19, name it whatever you want to. But after you have saved it you can delete the two outfits you used uh, to make this one. And then from here, well you need to delete them both, the ones you used to make this. And then from here just quit the job. So either quit it using your phone or go into creator and then start up a new online invite only session. When you spawn in, you'll be able to equip the outfit using your interaction menu, so you'll see it has fully saved. So yeah, uh, anyway for the next outfit, which is the Juggernaut one, all you want to do is go to any clothing store. Now at a clothing store, you just want to go onto the pants section, head down to utility pants, and you want to go for the black heist pants. So these here. Uh, once you have these, uh, all you need to do from here is start up it's a G thing once again, so uh, just open up your pause menu, go to play jobs, bookmarked, and start the same job. Now do the same again, so set a clothing to player saved outfits, and then invite anyone and start this up. Now in this menu you want to just scroll one to the right this time, and then ready up. Now as usual just go ahead and save this in your wardrobe in any of your apartments. So go ahead and save this at the bottom, so to slot number 18. And you can name this whatever you want to, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so name it whatever, and then delete the outfit you used to make this one, so delete jug 1. And then from here quit the job using your phone, or just go into creator and start up a new online invite only session. Now when you load in just equip the outfit we just saved, and then go to any clothing store. Now in the clothing store go to the glove section and then you want to equip the race suit gloves. And then once you have the race suit gloves, uh, just go ahead and start it's a G thing once again, and feel free to save this as well. Again you want to set the clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start this up. Now in this section here just scroll 2 to the right over to the jug 3 outfit, and then just ready up. Now in the mission just go ahead and save this in your apartment wardrobe and then save this at the bottom so to slot number 17 or 16, whatever slot you want to save it, just out of the way of the others. And after you've just saved you can go ahead and delete the two outfits you use uh, to make this one, so delete jug 3 and jug 2. Um, from here quit the job either using your phone or go into creator and then start up a new online invite only session. Now from here you want to go to a clothing store. Now if you have the real white joggers just use those, but if you don't have them equip the light grey large cargoes and then also equip any top or jacket, uh, just make sure it doesn't have a logo on it, and then equip any boots. Well not just any boots, make sure they tuck the cargo pants into them. 
So before you carry on, just make sure you equip any t-shirt or jacket. Just make sure it doesn't have a logo on it. So I just went for this. Um, it's not going to merge on, it's just so you don't get random logos merging on. Uh, but from here, you want to go to your missions on Bookmarked and Startup It's a G thing. Now do the usual, so set it to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start it up. In this menu, just scroll two to the right on owned outfit and then ready up. Now go ahead and save this in your apartment wardrobe. So you want to save this at the bottom out of the way of the other outfits. So you can save it to slot 15, whatever, uh, and name it Galaxy, or whatever you want to name it, it's up to you really. And then from here, delete the Galaxy 1 and 2. And then either quit a job using your phone, or go into Creator and start a new online invite only session. Once again, you'll notice uh, the outfit we just saved, uh, you can equip using your interaction menu. But anyway, from here, you want to go to a clothing store. From here in the clothing store, equip the gloves you'd like to merge onto your next outfit. So for me, I want these biker gloves, so I'm going to equip the biker suit, but you can use any gloves. Uh, but from here, you want to go to bookmark, start up, it's a G thing. Set the clothing to player saved outfits once again, and then invite anyone and start this up. Now on owned outfit, scroll two to the right and then just ready up. In the mission, just go ahead and save this in any apartment wardrobe. Now you can save this anywhere because that's all the outfits complete. And then you don't even have to delete checkered one or two, you can if you want, no. Uh, but yeah, that's all the outfits complete, so from here you can just quit the job using your phone, or go to Creator and start a new online invite-only session. And there you go, that's all the outfits for today's video complete, so uh, obviously this checkerboard one, like I was saying earlier, it does disappear, um, but it, it does stay for like a few seconds, um, but it does disappear in free mode. However, in any jobs, it stays like permanently. Uh, so if you're doing a heist or like any job, it'll stay checkered. But yeah, anyway, that is all the outfits complete. So feel free to add rebreathers, helmets, masks, whatever you want. So if you made it to the end, comment down below like you did and I'll try and heart your comment. Anyway, leave a like if you found this helpful, please. Up to you though. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day or night and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.